Some of Fortnite's most popular things were added into the game thanks to the community, and we're taking a look at 30 of them. Like Kevin the Cube, whose name doesn't come from Fortnite, it actually comes from us, the community. When he first arrived on the island, there was so much hype and excitement over on the Fortnite subreddit, they had to ban posts with the words cube in it. To get around this, the community decided to nickname him Kevin, which Fortnite officially acknowledged, adding in the little Kev back bling in Season 6, and then an official Kevin rap and spray in Season X, meaning that we literally named the cube. When Slurp Juice was first added into the game, it wasn't that great. And after a suggestion put on the Fortnite subreddit, which three Epic Games employees commented on, this person thought it should heal both HP and shield, rather than just the shield that it gave you originally. Literally, in the next update, it was changed to give you 75 of either HP or shield, depending on what you needed, making it so much better. Have you ever noticed the warning signs on top of Tilted Towers? These were added in around the time that everyone thought the meteor in the sky in Chapter 1 was going to destroy Tilted. Epic Games knew that this was actually never going to happen. But to mess with us, put these warning signs on top of Tilted, saying tomorrow with pictures of aliens and the meteor, making us think even more that it was going to be destroyed, which was a fun map change that Donald Mustard said we, the community, inspired. Which is really cool, but not as cool as getting a whole POI added to the game based on your suggestion. All the way back in 2017, a POI called Haunted Hills was a concept with a giant castle, mansion, a bridge, and a village shared on the Fortnite Reddit. And Epic loved this idea so much that two months later, when Tilted was added to the game, Haunted Hills became an official location on the map. And later on in Fortnite Mares, they even added the castle as well. One of the most wholesome additions to the game comes in the form of this skin, which started its life originally by someone's son who was eight years old, posting on Reddit saying they really want a chicken skin in the game. After it got over 40,000 upvotes, someone else in the community took this idea, made a more detailed design, which also went viral. But Fortnite purchased the idea of this skin to turn it into something that would actually go into the game, making it one of the first community skins ever in the game. Back in the day, a lot of the Fortnite menus were a little clunky and the emote wheel wasn't great until someone suggested this new design that Epic Games loved so much, they copied it pretty much one-to-one, -one, added it in at the start of chapter two. And it's now the emote wheel that we know and love and use to this day. Imagine being able to pick and choose an LTM that would return to the game. This was the original idea put forward on Reddit that got over 14,000 upvotes, which Epic Games used as inspiration to create the community choice option that ended up in the item shop. This feature allowed you to vote on a skin that if one would come back to the item shop. And as cool as the idea was, it was actually scrapped quite quickly after it launched and hasn't returned since. Now, if you've been playing Fortnite for a while, you probably remember this viral Muse Out clip where he found a player on the edge of the map and tried to save him, but ended up killing him. This is one of the most viral Fortnite clips still to this day. And as a result, Fortnite acknowledged it by putting a gravestone to Chapadoodle, who was the player that died in this clip, right on the chapter one island. You may remember the bandage bazooka. Fire bandages at your teammate and heal them up. And a member of the community saw this and thought, why don't we add chug splashes to it instead? The idea was super popular. And Epic agreed it'd be a great idea. And one year later, we of course got the exotic chug can inspired by the community. When you place down a trap, knowing if it's yours, a teammate's, or an enemy's is super important. And back in the day, it was pretty much impossible to tell the difference. A number of times I ran into an enemy spike trap, not knowing if it was mine. I'm sure you did the same. Resulted in the community suggesting that they change the way that spike traps look if you or your teammate have placed them. And someone from Epic Games commented on this post, letting us know that we should keep an eye out for the next update. And literally the following week, traps were adjusted to a slight blue tint to them if you or your teammate have placed them, making it one of the most appreciated changes of all times. Back in Season 7, Fortnite released the Link skin, and in her loading screen, you could see the head of a cat. Someone noticed this and thought it'd be a cool idea to create a buff cat skin, which was actually originally a concept that we all know and love as Meowsels that ended up being added in during Chapter 2, Season 2, which means, yes, Meowsels, one of Fortnite's most popular skins, was actually originally designed by the community. This story is amazing, as back in Season 3, when Fortnite launched on mobile, a team teacher was complaining that he couldn't get his students to stop playing in class. He loved Fortnite himself, but wrote to Epic and said, please could you add a loading screen message that says, Mr. Hillman says stop playing in class. And Fortnite actually did it. This was literally a message in one of the loading screens and is the only time that they have ever added this in for the community. Did you know that when visual audio was first added into Fortnite, it also removed all sound from the game. So you'd only have the icon on screen telling you what's nearby. But after an actual deaf player who was only deaf in one ear, suggested that they turn sound back on so you have the visual indicator and the sound. So this half-deaf player could use both of the features to play Fortnite. And when Fortnite saw this, they decided to enable sound, which has ended up making visual 
sound effects one of the most popular settings in Fortnite. Back in 2019, a suggestion for an LTM called 50v50 planes was put forward on the Fortnite subreddit with the idea of everyone being in the sky in a plane fighting it out. Getting almost 16,000 upvotes, the community loved this idea and in April 2019, Fortnite also loved it because they added in Air Royale. It wasn't exactly the same, it had less players and planes had a little bit more health, making this popular LTM all thanks to his community member. Now imagine being excited for a live event, jumping in and then someone shoots you in the back and you miss it. Well, this is something that could actually happen in the first few live events until late 2018 when a post on the Reddit got 12,000 upvotes suggesting that Epic remove both weapons and items when a live event starts. Of course, we all know that this is now normal during live events and thanks to this person, we'll never be killed during a live event again. You may remember the original Boogie Down competition back in 2018 where Epic would pick the winning emote to actually be added into the game. But when the winners were announced, the community was a little bit upset that Orange Shirt Kid was nowhere to be seen on the list. One of the dances that was super popular. At the time, Epic didn't say anything until a season four battle pass launched with the emote called Orange Justice. The emote's description even said it's also a great exercise move, which is literally something the kid said in his submission video. And fun fact, this emote was actually added in before the winner's emote in the end and has gone on to be one of Fortnite's most iconic dances. And one of Fortnite's most iconic skins was actually community sourced as well. Reddit user called Fantasy Full back in 2018 drew two concept skins for modern treasure hunters. Epic bought up the design and five months later, we got the iconic Aurora skin, which is one of the most popular competitive skins in Fortnite and the guild skin, which became my main skin until I got my icon skin. So I've got to say a huge thank you to Fancy Fool for basically creating the skin that I used in game. And a huge thank you to you if you ever picked it up or anything else in the item shop whilst entering code Ali A. It may seem like a small thing, but it's one of the best ways to support me, which is why I have to say thank you. We should also thank the community for no scopes being in the kill feed. Because fun fact, if you no scope someone as a sniper back in the day, you wouldn't know about it in the kill feed. And coming off the back of Call of Duty where doing trick shots and no scoping was super popular, and landing one of these shots and seeing it acknowledged in the kill feed would be really cool. And Epic Games agreed. It's two weeks after someone suggested this, Fortnite added it into the game. And at the end of 2022, we got some very special supply drops that were added in thanks to a post that was suggested all the way back in 2020. The concept allowed players to remotely call in their own supply drops, where previously supply drops just randomly dropped on the map and you had to go to them. As a result, the dial a drop item was added into the game, giving you three drops, either health, a vehicle or supply drop was only in the game for a very limited amount of time and I'd actually love to see this return. Maybe not as much as I'd love to see OG Fortnite return again, which is actually what it will be doing this year in 2024. After the insane success of the mini OG Fortnite season last year, Fortnite having over 100 million players in a month, they've announced that it will be returning again this year. And as soon as I hear more information about this, I'll let you guys know on the channel, so make sure you're subscribed. We all know Chug Splashes and we've all used them at some point. Back in June 2018, someone suggested that they add in a slurp grenade, which you could actually throw, giving you 10 health and shield when it hits, affecting an area, and being a max stack of 6, which weirdly enough is almost identical to how Chug Splashes ended up being when they were finally added into the game in Season 9, one year after this post. The only difference is it actually ended up healing 20 HP or shield. It's crazy to think that something we've used so much in game was suggested by the community. And in fact, the same community member that suggested that spike traps be different colors depending on who placed them. Also suggested that exclusive save the world pickaxes, if unlocked by the player, would also carry across to Battle Royale. And that's exactly what Epic Games did one year later, allowing seven save the world pickaxes to be used across the modes. Now, the original 50v50 mode was actually very different to what it ended up being in its second iteration. And almost all of the changes that were made for V2 were actually made by the community. The V2 concept that was shared showed two battle buses flying onto the map with a rework story storm circle that stayed in the center and came in far quicker, meaning people were all fighting together in a closer area. Epic loved it so much, they added all of that in and even called the mode 50v50 v2 after the original concept name. Now, we all know that people like to mess with things in Fortnite and try and break them, which is exactly what happened to the foundation statue, an indestructible part of a chapter three island. Players managed to find a way around this by using tires to literally topple the statue. Epic Games ended up fixing this glitch, but as a shout out to everyone that did it, added loads of tires around the area. Now, things that we take for granted in Fortnite, like preferred weapon slots, which puts items and weapons in the exact same position every time you pick them up, was originally suggested back in 2018, getting over 
1,000 upvotes. It wasn't implemented by Epic until 2021. Something that we now just take for granted, but took them so long to add into the game. But that community member didn't stop there and also came up with the idea for the recon grenade. They originally called it the radar grenade, but this post didn't get anywhere near as much attention. and definitely didn't get a comment by anyone that was employed at Epic. The idea was almost identical to the recon grenade later added in in 2021, meaning this person waited three years for their ideas to actually happen in game. Unlike this person, you only had to wait three weeks for their idea to get added, which was thanking the bus driver. Yet this wasn't a feature in game originally until someone started a petition that got over 6,000 signatures to add it as a feature. And just three weeks later, Epic decided to add it in. It's even been included now in season milestones to get you XP. It's just iconic. Almost as much as Ninja's tweet where he was saying he'd literally throw money at the game to get anything new in the item shop. As nothing new had been added for a few days, he said he'd even buy a toilet plunger as an axe. And just eight days later, in the item shop appeared exactly that. The plunger pickaxe literally as a result of Ninja's tweet and is one of the earliest and quickest known community ideas ever added into the game. Now, a lot of his ideas were added in years ago, but the newest part of this season, the train, was actually a suggestion all the way back in 2018 on the original chapter one map where the train would travel around the island in a circle, creating a new way to get around with chests on the train to open up as well. It got over 25,000 upvotes and took almost six years to get into the game, but I'm so glad it finally did. And I'm also so glad that there's ranked rewards in the game, which initially weren't there. The community member suggested that we should get specific back blings and cosmetics that reflected the rank that we'd reached in the competitive season, which back then was just called Arena. Got a ton of upvotes and a load of attention. And this guy's to thank for all the free competitive rewards we now get in game. But did you know that Peely was removed from Fortnite, including a load of other stuff that had to be taken out? Click here to find out more in this super interesting video I know you enjoy. So I'll see you over there.